here this Wednesday, hump day. So keep working on that hump on your behind, all right? Not only getting it stronger, but getting it more fuller and more hump alicious for you. So today what we're gonna be focusing on is our glutes and then our hip adductors and adductors, all right? You can't do the high intensity starting off, that's fine. Check out the end of the track and I'm gonna have lower intensity beginner and then also other options for you in case the ones I provide don't work for your body or your level, all right guys? Never do any of these exercises if they're causing you increase in pain. Please choose your modification safely, wisely, Form them efficiently so you can have an efficient and effective body, okay guys? Lots of times we get stuck in working in just our sagittal plane, so just forward and back, flexion and extension at the hip, and what we neglect is the side of our hips, all right? And then targeting the hip, AV ductors, and AD ductors. What this leads you to is having an imbalance of that pelvic musculature. So you have a strength on one side and a weakness on the other, which creates an imbalance in your body and body mechanics. This is actually what research is starting to show is leading to a lot of knee injuries, making women and males more prone to ACL tears. So what we need to do is strengthen our glute med, our glute max, and our glute min, all three, all around the hip joint, correct? Yes. That way we have more strength and control over the lower portion down the chain of our lower extremity. So strong hip joints are gonna lead it to where our knees are stronger and less susceptible to things like ACL tears and meniscal tears. All right guys, so go ahead and join me on this. Really focus on engaging that side booty. Yes, you can add this into any of your regular leg routine or booty routine. So this routine's also gonna be really good for any type of runner, soccer player, because you're always working in that sagittal plane running, right? So just forward and back. You never really work on the outside movement. So feel free to add this to any of your weekly routines with running as well. I would do it maybe three times a week. We're trying to do this song two to three times, so it's gonna give you about a 12 minute workout. What you'll notice is that having these stronger glutes all around the hip muscular chart is going to lead you to feeling better, performing better, being more agile, and noticing a decrease in pain, not only in your back and your hips, but also in your knees, all right guys? So that's what we're going for. Again, as always, please consult with your physician before you perform any type of workout routine. Stay healthy and safe for me. And this week's routine is going to be to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. I saw her on GMA this morning and I can't get it stuck out of my head, so now it's going to be stuck in your head, right? So come with me, shake off anything you have, and let's get to work in that booty, guys. So this workout routine is going to include a progression of what we call clam exercises that are really going to target your glute meat and your glute max, all right? So please pay attention to the form setup that you can check out the end of the video. What this is going to ensure that you do is that you have proper muscle activation of your glutes and that you're not recruiting from other areas of your hip, such as your TFL or your hip flexor during these exercises. We'll also have a series of bridge exercises to really work on your glute max and your core and then end up the workout with a plank exercise that's actually going to be activating your glute med and your glute max and your core, right? So what research has actually shown through some EMG studies is that these exercises such as your clam progression, your bridge, your one-legged bridge, your side plank, and then your prone on elbows plank with your hip extension, it provides muscle activation without external loading to increase your training endurance and stabilization of your trunk, pelvis, and your knee control. All right, guys? All right guys, so if you're ready, all you're going to need for this workout is your mat, water, and a towel. You wanna to wipe off all your sweat. Again, remember the song is to Taylor Swift, shake it off, download it so you can get down with the beat. And other than that, if you just want the workout, I'll also have a scrolling list of the repetitions that are done through the song. All right guys, make it as easy for y'all to get through your workout and do these wherever you are. 
So let's go, baby. It's time to make that booty burn. Time to get all work out on that booty, guys. Let's go. Go ahead and lie back down to your mat, onto your side, hip stacked, and we're moving. Starting out with eight clamshells. Go ahead, you can kind of reposition yourself. Find wherever you feel most of the work in this side of your butt. Strong core. There you go, keep your knees stationary. Now rotate your hip in. There you go, up and down. Nice and controlled, same thing. Strong core, beautiful work. Here we go, into clam three. Abduct your hip, keep it stabilized, and then perform that same motion as clam two. This is really going to target your glute med. Beautiful work, guys. Now into our inner thighs, up and down. Nice and controlled. Beautiful work. Make sure you're keeping your hips stacked. Really elongate through that leg. Hold it into pulses. Now these are tiny little movements working on that endurance. You should feel the burn down the inside of your thigh. Come on, stick with it. Finish it. You got it. All right, guys, here we go. Switch over to the other side. Eight clamshells. Now this is the same exact set as we did before. We're just evening it out, even on both sides. Same setup, same cueing. Remember, if you find any of these exercises difficult or they're causing you pain, please tune in to the setup and modifications at the end of the video. All right, into my favorite move, clamshell three. You got this. I promise you, no matter how strong you think you are, you're going to feel this exercise in the morning because of how much it's challenging your stabilization. All right, back to the inner thighs, up and down. Keep it strong. Good, now there's different ways we can lay. So you can lay with your head down, arm propped up. I don't care, whatever's comfortable. As long as your hips are aligned, there's no pain in your neck, and you're working hard for me, guys. Keep it moving. Tiny, tiny pulses. Beautiful work. All right, here we go into a new thing. Flipping onto our backs, into our bridges. Nice and controlled. Two up, two down. Really squeeze that booty. Act like there's a $100 bill on that butt crack and you ain't letting it go. <laughs> All right, up and hold, up and hold. Here we go. Make sure your hips are level. If I had a pencil on your hips, it'd be a straight line. There you go. Keep actively engaging those glutes and into our unilateral bridge, up and down. Single count this time. Now if this is too much, feel free to stick with your normal bridge, both legs down, single counts. Great job guys, here we go. Moving into our plank series. So our side plank is really going to activate our hip abductors, working on squeezing that in. Beautiful job guys, normal plank on the elbows. Adding in a hip extension, really working the glute max. Beautiful job. Now don't forget about your core, belly button into your spine. Nice and controlled. Here we go, other side for your side plank. Set it up, beautiful. Now if you need to, you can drop down to your knee for modification. You're still gonna be working those hips and the core. Back to your planks with hip extensions. Great job guys, flat back, flat as a board. Draw that belly button in, squeeze the booty, and please breathe through all of this as well, okay guys? All right, here you go. Last final eight count, holding, holding, you got it. Draw that belly button in a little further, squeeze the glutes a little more, two, and one. Great job, guys. Drop down to those knees, exhale back. Now repeat this circuit two to three times to reap the maximum benefits. Moving into our stretching, reward your body for working hard. Piriform a stretch. Just wrap one knee around the other and pull back on the thigh. You should feel it in the side of your glute. Spinal rotation, cross at the ankles and rotate side to side. Single knee to chest, really stretching out through the lower back and your glutes. And then double knee to chest. You can also rock back and forth here to massage out that lower back. Beautiful work today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and working on that booty with me. All right, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You know I love hearing from you. And as always, subscribe, connect with me on social media, and I will see y'all next time and be getting that booty going. Great job, guys.
that you set this move up so that you're targeting the right musculature, be it your glute med and your glute max. All right, what we don't want is for our hip flexors and the TFL to kick in. So if your hips are flexed too much, that's what's gonna happen, all right? So we should be about at a 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and lay down so we can set this up. So hips are stacked one on top of the other. If you need to, pretend that someone is standing right over you, keeping them in place. You might even have someone at home that you can have do this until you find control of this musculature. So I'm at kind of a diagonal. So too far in, 90 degrees, too much. Too far back, not enough, okay? so. About 45, I'm going to the corner of my yoga mat if visual aid helps you. Knees are stacked, ankles are stacked, and what's going to happen is my hand is here for stabilization to increase my base of support, okay? Hand can be underneath your ear, or we can lay it all the way out. I really don't care what's going on down here, as long as there's no pain keeping your neck in good alignment. What I care about is your hips. So you're gonna be opening, really squeezing that booty. You can see that my muscle's engaged and lowering it back down nice and controlled. It's not a lift up, walk down, okay? So control it. You're gonna be coming up and down, up and down. The whole time your core is engaged, belly button into the spine. You should be feeling this in your booty, okay? Right here. If we're feeling it up front or only in the back, you're not doing it right, all right? So switch around, kind of feel it out, feel those muscles activate, and you'll find the right position. Other big things that we're lifting up and lifting down, your hips are doing the work, not the momentum from your body, okay? So that's why it might be good to have someone stand over your hips whenever we're lifting up and down, up and down, okay? If you start rocking, you're doing too much, <laughs> slow down. Squeeze that booty and lift it up. Moving into our clam two, knee is going to lock down. You're going to keep your hips stabilized again. Everything mentioned before applies. Lifting, rotating, and down. Rotating and down. So we're really bringing the ankle up and down. Great job, guys. What I don't want to see is your body falling forward and back. We're not getting the movement through the hip joint that way, therefore we're not activating the musculature. So lift up and lower. Up, get your core tight. Good job, guys. Round three, you're going to be performing a hip abduction, so constantly keeping that muscle engaged and then adding on. There you go, so it's kind of a double whammy. A big thing is that you don't want this to keep falling, all right? Hold it up and then lift and lower. My legs are staying parallel to one another, okay? They're not moving and this hip is rotating in and then back to parallel. In, back to parallel. Now if that's too much for you, return back to the first clam and just perform this clam one once again, okay guys? You will build that strength in order to be able to progress to clam three. There you go, guys. Something to look forward to. So stay with what's good for you for your modifications. Okay, next move is our bridge. We're lowering down to our back. Feet are about hip width apart. Hands are down by the hips. Roll the shoulder blades down and away so your shoulders drop away from your ears. You're gonna really activate the glutes, pushing those hips straight up towards the sky, slowly lowering down. It's kind of the same principle. Do not work and then just let it plop, right? So think two up, two down. Two up and two down. Great job, guys. Try to have equal weight distribution between both of your feet so we're activating both glutes. Beautiful work. Adding on, you can also try unilateral bridge. What this is going to entail is lifting up, raising one leg up, and lowering down and up. Down and up. If you progress to this, please have good control over your hips. Notice my hips are not rotating. So if we're doing this to get this movement going, we're not strong enough yet. And that's okay, that's why we're working on it. So remember, hips are staying strong and level. You're really using those glutes. I'll find that sometimes people get really bad hamstring cramps, okay? 
This is another sign that you're not activating your glutes the way that you should. So if you tend to cramp up, you're probably using too much of your hamstring. So before you perform the bridge, you want to squeeze your butt cheeks. Okay, so actively squeeze that butt together, lift up and down. Relax. Squeeze the butt together, lift up and down. All right, guys, you'll be amazed at how much better that bridge does cramps. Next move is our side plank. So you might have thought it only worked your core, but surprise, you actually get a huge, huge benefit from your glute mat and your glute knee when performing the side plank. What it's doing is that glute is actively engaged to keep your hips up and level with the rest of your trunk. So let's try it out. Elbows going to be underneath your shoulders, so stack. I don't want it all the way up here, one on top of the other. So what we're going to do is you're going to lift that hip up. So think of this hip coming to the center. That's really going to engage. That's really going to engage your glute to keep your core strong. Beautiful work, guys. If this is too much, just drop down to your knee. That's fine. You're still using that glute. Watch, I don't use my glute. I hang out down here. Engage the glute, lift it up, and there we go, guys. Working core and booty. The last thing we're going to have is our plank prone on elbows with a hip extension. So same thing, core and booty, guys. Double wing. Make sure you're keeping your back flat as a floor, squeezing that booty, and you'll do this just fine. So. Elbows are going to be underneath the shoulders. Toes are about hip-width apart. And all we do is we lift up, really bring that belly button to the spine. So none of this, none of this. Okay, flat as a board. Squeeze the booty. And if you're ready, we're gonna move into hip extensions one at a time, okay guys? If we don't have control for this yet, just hang out in a plank. This is good enough, okay? Lower intensity still. We can draw it down to the knees, same thing. Now this is relaxed. My abs and glutes are not engaged, right? Engage. All right, guys, work for it. If you're putting in this time, do it right. Beautiful, belly button to the spine. And there you go, guys. 